Hey boys and girls, welcome to chapter six. This is the topic of chapter six. We have now moved on to chapter six and it's called Expressions and Equations. Uh, the first video I'm going to bring to you for chapter six is actually for uh, the first inquiry lab. Chapter six starts with an inquiry lab and the title of that inquiry lab is Structure of Expressions. So there's a few things uh, I need to go over and I want you to record in your notes for the inquiry lab before you're working on that. Uh, some of the things uh, in this inquiry lab uh, I think you'll recognize, but I think there's a couple things that are new for most sixth graders. So the first three or first four key words that I want to talk about are these: uh, sum. The word sum, the word difference, the word product, and the word quotient. I'm thinking a lot of you recognize what those are. Uh, but we're going to officially record them in our notes. Um, the sum is, and I'm going to use numbers and variables in my expressions, the answer to an addition problem is a sum. A difference is an answer to a subtraction problem. 5 take away C, the answer to that would be called the difference. Uh, product, the word product would be an answer to a multiplication problem. So product, answer to a multiplying. Uh, problem and finally uh, quotient I could have D the variable D divided by 2 and that answer would be a quotient so these four words are very key if you see the word sum difference product, quotient, you should know what operation is happening in that problem. And when I say operation, I don't mean go to the hospital and have an operation. In math, an operation is this, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing those are called, uh, actually here, I'll put it over here, operations. In math, when you see the word operations, you should be thinking these, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. In mathematics, those are called operations. Okay, next key word is term. No, sorry. The next key word is expression. And the word expression I don't mean smiley faces and frowny faces and confused faces, the emoji faces. Uh, an, ex an expression in math is a combination of numbers and operations. Combination of numbers. and uh, 
combination of numbers and operations. So, for most kids, that is a new definition. An expression in math is a combination of numbers and operations. So, 5 plus uh, 15 divided by 4, that would be a, an expression. It's a combination of numbers and operations. And we'll do some examples as well. The word term. A term within an expression is this. Uh, each term each term of an expression is separated by either a plus sign or a subtraction sign. So within an expression, the terms within or term within an expression is separated. So each term is separated by either a plus sign or a subtraction sign. But notice that I did not include multiplying or dividing. So terms within an expression are separated by either a plus sign or a subtraction sign. So now let's look at some examples. Here are some expressions. Some math expressions. Four plus eight, subtract six. And over here, I'm going to copy the expression and each term of an expression is separated by either a plus sign or a subtraction sign. So here is plus sign and a subtraction sign. And I'm going to circle my terms using a green highlighter. So there's a term, there's a term, and there's a term. This expression, 4 plus 8 subtract 6, has three terms. The things that are, they have to be separated by uh, either a plus sign or a minus sign. And over here I'll write number of terms. And again, we're circling the terms. So this expression, 4 plus 8 subtract 6, has one, two, three terms. Next expression, four times five. Now, you might quickly look at that and think, well, there's two terms, but there's not. There is not a plus sign or a minus sign in this expression. So the expression 4 times 5 actually is a single term. It's 1. So I'm going to circle the term. 4 times 5 has only one term. So this is new for most kids. Let's back up and review quickly. An expression combination of numbers and operations. Numbers and these things right here. A term of an expression is separated by a plus sign or a subtraction sign. In this expression, 
plus subtract, we've got three terms. In this expression, we've got one term. There is not an addition or a subtraction sign. Let's look at another one. 3 plus 6 times 9. Three plus six times nine. What do you think about that one? Well, if I follow what I've written in my notes, terms have to be separated by these two operations. There is a plus sign. So I, that's all I've got. There's not another plus sign or a subtraction sign. So this expression, three plus six times nine, has one, two terms. Uh, let's see. And the last thing that I want to talk about is a type of expression called a product of a sum expression. So I'm going to write it right here. Product of a sum So product we know means multiplying. Sum we know means adding. The product of a sum expression looks like this. Something like this. 2 times 3 plus 4. So let me explain. Product here, this is, product means the answer to a multiplying problem. And so we've got two things being multiplied, 2 and this thing in parentheses. So the, this 2 is a factor, and this sum, 3 plus 4, grouped together in parentheses, is another factor. So in a product of a sum expression, your factors, the things being multiplied, well, the 2 is a factor, and then this sum, this 3 plus 4, would also be considered a factor. It's this thing times this thing. Product of an expression, the two, that's a factor, that's a factor. It's a product of a sum. So that's your helpful hints for the inquiry lab. Uh, I will see you again soon for uh, chapter six, lesson one. See you soon.